Hi everyone, welcome. If you're new, hello, my name is Melanie. And if you're returning friends, thank you for coming back and watching another video here on our channel. For today's video, I am bringing you this full cut crease. Yes, yay, full cut crease. We are not doing half cut crease today. <laughs> so for today's video, I am bringing you this green envy right here. Uh, I decided to do a full cut crease for you guys today. I'm sure you guys are tired of me doing half cut crease. Just wait for my next video. I'm sure it's going to be half cut crease. Most of the products that I'm going to be using today is from Exano Cosmetics. Some are new products, some are products that I already have and I have tried already. So I hope you guys are interested and I hope you guys support Brandy. She is the owner of Exano Cosmetics. If you guys want to see how I created this green envy, wait, 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 come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. I know you are just in a hurry to watch this video, but before you go, <laughs> Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And please do turn on that notification bell so you guys don't miss out on future uploads here on my channel. So, okay, fine. Go, 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 go watch this video. <laughs> Let's go ahead and fill the brows. This is a new product on her side. This is her XNO Cosmetics Brow Pomade. So this is in a dark brown. Loving this product so far. I've been using this non-stop. I do use a brow pencil on daily. When I go places where I want my brows to stay intact, I do use a pomade and this is my go-to right now. Um, I wanted to use this a few times so I can give you my feedback and you guys um, it do last for a, a long time. Um, it does come with another protection inside so your pomade doesn't dry up. If you've never used a pomade before, please be gentle with it. Uh, it can go like really really bad really quick with this so gently tap your uh, brush with the pomade and then tap the excess on the cap and then work in little spaces on your brows because if you put too much on your brows it can get a little muddy um, so just you know not just with this pomade with every pomade you guys so make sure you tap your excess on the cap eyeshadow palette that I picked for this look is Green Envy. Uh, it's nice that she's been collaborating with um, her beauties. So this one is with Sethra Chiffon. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Love the packaging. It's very green. And then at the back you have the ingredients. It is uh, cruelty free. The ingredients and everything that's in the eyeshadow. So uh, just check it out. So if you're allergic to something you can see it and you know, don't apply it to your eyes. And this has a mirror. I played with this already. I wanted to do a little swatchy swatchy to see, um, you know, how it swatches and stuff like that. And it's swatched really nice. And it does come with a huge mirror. So that is nice. And so you have some neutrals up here. So your go-to. So you can definitely just use that for an everyday. And then you have your gorgeous greens over here. You have a white one, yellow one. This is shimmer. Um, so up here are shimmers. Uh, this one is a shimmer and this two right here are shimmer. I think this one is a pressed glitter. Um, not sure but it looks like it's a pressed glitter. I've already prepped my lid. I used my e.l.f. concealer. This is in light peach. I'm gonna start with this one right here. It's gonna be our starting shade. Now I'm gonna go and move on to the shade right here. This is dramatic. That one right here is peridot. Now I'm going to take a smaller brush because I want to define that crease so when we clean it up we have that darker cut. So I'm going to take this one right here, this is Martini. This is a very dark um, like olive color.
Now it's time to clean up our lid. It's been a minute since I did a bulk crease, so bear with me. I'm taking the same concealer that I used to prime my lid. Uh, this is the Light Peach Elf. This is where we at right now. It's probably not even, but I'm okay with it. Um, the line right here is not dark enough for me, so we are gonna dip a little bit on the black one. This is anticipation, and we are just gonna outline that and make it a little darker. Now to blend that out a little bit because it is a bit dark, I'm going to go back to Martini right here, maybe a little bit of Dramatic and we're just going to blend that with the existing color already. I reapplied some concealer on the lid, I cleaned it up and I also applied some tape right here so we can have the clean cut on the outer part of our eyes so I'm gonna take a flat brush like this and I'm gonna take peridot we're gonna start with this one we're gonna put that on the inner part of our eye I'm trying to leave a little space right here on the cut um, I haven't decided yet if I want to keep that clean or I want to put a little shimmer on there I'm gonna take this one right here and this and I'm gonna put that on the outer part of our eyes right here. And then I'm gonna go back to Peridot and we're just gonna blend that more. You guys, I'm so sorry I got lost in my little world over here. Um, I just, like I said, I wanted to leave that little cut crease open. And I just added this yellow right here. This is juicy. That's the only thing I did different. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean up. And then I'm going to do my base. Um, she does have a setting powder. So I'm going to stop there so I can show you guys her setting powder. So products that I didn't mention, it's going to be in the description below as always. So let's go ahead and set this face. This is a new product from X and No Cosmetics. This is a, a loose setting powder. Uh, this is what the packaging looks like. And then it says ingredients. Uh, it has talc, cornstarch modified, silica, parfum, uh, profil, paraben, BHA. This is what the packaging looks like. All her packagings are the same. And it looks like just a white loose powder all her loose powders her loose highlighter has a mesh inside so you can control what you are getting with your product so I'm just gonna take my sponge and I'm just gonna set my under eye so I'm just gonna put that where I applied my my concealer it's definitely good if you have a very oily skin because as soon as you apply it to your skin, it will definitely suck up, soak up, not suck up. <laughs> it will definitely soak up all of that oil on your skin. Moving on to highlighter. So I have two of her loose highlighter. I believe she does have pressed highlighters now, but I have Diamond Dust and Pink Carbell. So this is what they look like. It's the same component with the loose setting powder. You have, um, it's been loved. So you have that mesh inside that you can just press your brush so it will give you just enough um, of what you need. So this is the Pinkerbell and this is the Diamond Dust. So we're gonna go with the Diamond Dust right now. So I'm just gonna take a cream highlighter. It doesn't matter which one you use. Um, so I'm just gonna take this one and I'm gonna apply it right here. I'm gonna dip into our highlighter. I'm just gonna tap it. I think I'm gonna take this flash right here. This is the pressed glitter, I think. And I'm gonna put it right there. Now let's go ahead and finish this up with a lippy. I think that we should just stay with a nude lipstick, liquid lipstick, because our eyes are 
too smoky, too green, too bold already. So we don't want to take away from the eyes. So I have eight of her uh, liquid lipstick. These are matte liquid lipstick. So we have Nudist, Shady, Jink, Sassy, Gotcha, Rio, Stiletto, and Goliath. I did swatches and I also put this on. I will link a video on the cards and also in the description. Check that out so you can see what it looks like on me. Uh, there's too many to swatch right now so we are just gonna be using the nudes. So this is what they look like. They are so good, you guys. This liquid lipstick stays on your lips. So if you pick one color, make sure that's the one because as soon as you put this on your lips, it will stay there, you guys, till you decide to switch it up. And yeah, so this will definitely stay all day. All day. Not forever. I was going to say forever. But that's... No. <laughs> not forever just till you decide to switch it up with a different shade so we're just gonna go with nudist today this one right here this one I can swatch for you because I'm gonna be using this one so that's what it looks like like I said this bad boy stays on your lips um, one thing though this are matte and it is a long-lasting liquid lipstick so it does get a bit drying on the lips all you all you need to do you guys is just apply some chapstick it won't it won't change the colors it won't do anything to it it will just hydrate your lips or just put a clear um, lip gloss then you are good to go so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this we're not even gonna do a lip liner I'm just gonna apply this loving the eyes so far this palette is amazing if this is your tone pick this up you guys let me know what you think about the products that i tried for you guys xno cosmetics is a small business so please do support brandy she is the owner of this brand all her products are on sale right now so check her out all her information is going to be in the description below and if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please do so thank you guys for watching and like always I will catch you on my next one. Bye, guys.